Hi planner friends, it's Marsha with Buy Sell Plan. In today's video, I'm going to compare the Teal Aurora from 2017 to the Blue Mirage Aurora from the fall of this year, which is 2021. I've been asked to do this comparison, so here you go. Um, so when in 2017, when I ordered this one in the pictures, it looked more teal. And then when I got it, I was very disappointed because it looks more forest green. Uh, <clears throat> So I was a little bit nervous when I ordered this one because it said Blue Mirage and I thought, oh, I hope it doesn't look green when it comes in. And now that I see them side by side, it definitely is more blue, um, which I was very happy about. So right off the bat, I don't know if you can tell this from um, your angle. This one looks taller and more bulky. Now, mind you, it's well loved. It's been used a lot and I currently use it as a storage binder because it has one and a half inch rings but it definitely looks a lo lot bigger. So I have the strap as far in as it will go, just as this one is, and it still looks bigger. So let's see. They're the exact same size. This way, anyways, you can see they're the exact same height, I should say, but it definitely looks thicker. Let's get the tape measure. Okay, so the Blue Mirage is exactly two inches. And this teal is just over two, not quite two and a quarter. I'm not good at measuring, so whatever that second line is past the two inches, that's how wide this one is. So yeah, I wasn't imagining. It is wider. Okay, you know what's interesting is that when you look at this side, versus the back, can you see that? This is a different shade of green. So you can say this binder needs a cleaning. And because of how full I usually have it, can you see right here, that shade of green is different from the rest because this is usually where it's sitting underneath the strap. So this is the original color that it was. But you know, they say with leather, they patina, I think is what you call it. Um, you know, you get the dings and the marks and the color kind of changes over time. Um, but yeah, the back is definitely more green. It's interesting. And I just noticed that now. I didn't notice that before. But otherwise, they are the exact same binder. So when you open them up, they're the exact same. One and a half inch rings. You can tell these rings are scuffed and, like I said, well loved. They have the exact same configuration, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven business card holders, including the window. And this one has the same, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Okay, they both have the zipper. Now on these older Auroras, the zippers are very uh, stiff. So they, it, they don't go back and forth like this one is effortless. This one is not, it takes quite a bit of tugging. They both have the pocket, okay, secretarial pocket here, and then on the back, it's exactly the same, where it has the two wide pockets and the two small pockets, same thing, two wide pockets, two small pockets. So there you have it, that's the difference. They both have the two pen loops, two pen loops. This one is lying flat still, because I, I really only use one pen and I always use it on the right side because I'm right-handed. Um, these are lying flat just because I have not used this binder yet. It's brand new. That's really it. Quick, quick video, short and sweet. They both have the exterior pocket. Exterior pocket. So I've had this since 2017 and I got this one first because I thought teal, I love teal. And then they came out with the blush pink. Then I bought the blush pink, but both of them were purchased in 2017. And I have to say, I definitely see what all the hype is about when it comes to the Auroras. That's why I didn't hesitate when they came out with the new colors for the fall. I ordered both because I love these binders and they are built to last. Um, but clearly I need to give this one a good cleaning. Can you see the different color there? Have you guys ever cleaned your leather binders? I have never. So I'd like to know, can I get it back to that color? I wonder, I'm going to YouTube that. See if I can find that. This one definitely has imperfections. There's scrapes from my nails and a little dot there. I don't, I'm like, I don't know what that is. 
but I like that. It adds to the character of the binder. I like the imperfections. But uh, yeah, she needs a good cleaning. So I think this is the true color, if you want to see the difference here between them. Blue Mirage Teal from 2017. There you go. And that is the front. So that's my video. I hope that was helpful for you. Have you ordered the Vintage Aurora yet? The new ones? Let me know. And if you have, are you loving it? I know I am. I'm certainly, I'm currently in my Plum Plumera and I absolutely love it. So yeah, let me know if you have any questions. Um, for 15% off, use my code buy, sell, plan. Get your Vintage Aurora before they are sold out because these are limited edition. So the last time they had the Vintage Auroras was four years ago. So you don't want to let another four years go before you get your hands on one. And when people buy them, um, I've, I've heard of some people who, when they're no longer available for sale, they'll sell them on eBay or buy and sell groups and they sell them for over, you know, $250. Some I've even heard of as high as $300. And I think brand new from the Franklin um, Planner website, it's under 200. It's like 199, I think, but use my code and you'll save quite a bit. Okay. All right. Thank you for watching. Don't forget to like and subscribe and we'll see you in the next video. Bye.